All right, friends, we're back, and we're going to be facing off against a few bosses. I'm going to need Goombella to go for this one. Always got a tattle. Tattle logs. Hold on. How's, how's the tattle log look? Oh, hey, the sound gallery's been updated. Oh, that's just for all these. Never mind. Um, <laughs> Goomboard. Yeah, we're most, like, once, as we go, most of these are just going to be filled out by uh, Pit of 100 Trial enemies. Like, uh, these two. Uh, these two. You get my, you get the picture. <coughs> the Pit of 100 Trials starts to have a lot of distinct and unique enemies by, like, the 80s. Every 10 floors has uh, an enemy completely unique to the uh, Pit of 100 Trials. And then, like, floors 80 through 99 are literally all enemies exclusive to Pitbull Under Trials. Oh, right, this is my favorite bit. One of my favorite bits. Cortez's dialogue is amazing. Also, the treasure flying around now. Enough! I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I am a pirate, blast it! Pirates do not moan. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. And it feels like just yesterday that I just I played this for the first time on my channel. And you are after my treasure. I even this is even in my best of my channel, so that's why I remember it so well. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Habla, speak. I'm pretty sure he speaks a lot more Spanish. And I love that. Also, one bit. I'll turn your bone. He doesn't say amigo here. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. You know I had to. Come on, that was like one of my favorite parts of that in particular quote. We just showed it's like, I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Ah, oh, Cortez is such a cool fight. The darn shame that he only has 20 HP per phase. Like, he's not that hard to beat. That's Cortez. Is the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. 20 HP. He's got about as much HP as Hooktail. And about as much HP as a Dark Bones. In fact, Cortez is quite literally one attack weaker than Hooktail. The only reason why he is considerably harder is because he has three phases, and one of those phases can involve. Four attack, up to five attacks. You know what? We're gonna try. I'm gonna try and make this uh, battle as hard as possible. Not that it can. I can feasibly really do that. Two rules: no power lift and no gale force. I am not allowed to blow away Cortez's weapons in the final phase, and I'm not allowed to buff myself up. I'm literally already dealing five points of damage to this dude. Ow. Yeah, no, like, I really, I want these fights to actually last. Uh, I didn't get the super guard. Uh, swap, all, like, Vivian's just always such a good choice for these things. Burn damage, like, literally burning at bosses is one of the most useful things, because, like, burn is one of the few statuses that, like, are, is almost always a guarantee for, uh, your side. Like, the only enemies that can't be burned are literally enemies immune to fire. Ow. Oh, now I'm dizzy. Okay, I was not expecting any of that. I was not paying attention. Alright, this is good. I like this. I like that I'm actually going to have a fun and interesting time with this. Even though his first phase is literally almost done. Okay, here's the thing. I don't really trust myself to uh, land a power smash. I'm just gonna have to hammer him. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I actually hit it. Nice. Okay, we got we got half the super guards. That's not bad. Come on, Cortez. Make me work for it. Make me work for this victory. Not nah, phase one death. I'd try to draw Cortez, but this guy has gotten way too much detail. That would take way too much to draw that bony spine of his. 
Okay, this one we're gonna have to swap things up because I'm pretty sure if you attack the bone pile, he um, will lower, he will, yeah, he does that. If you attack him from a, I think if you attack his head, it doesn't do that. Now his weak point is completely vulnerable. There was a jet. Oh, I knocked down some of the more scenery. Oh! You're going for that, are you? I see. Alright. No, 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 no. He's not even going to get a shot. No, literally, he is not going to get a shot. His defense literally lowers by, uh one when you attack his um, weak spots, so. Bro, bro, second phase, second phase is just no brain, like this is so easy. The second phase is like nothing. His third phase is kinda probably the trickiest one, simply because all four of his weapons are intact as separate entities. And um, he also can heal after a little while. So what we're gonna do... Oh, I attacked the rapier by mistake. Oh well. We'll just heal up, I guess. Free, and this game is free. This game is so free. All right. Uh, let's just... Head bonk him. Oh right, Goombella head bonking not a good idea. Too weak. We ain't getting no super guards. Oh, that one's stronger. The rusty hook here can poison. Oh, get wrecked. Ow. See, that's what it, it honestly. <laughs> If you play this fight like the like this, it's a lot harder. Why did that do seven damage? Oh right, because I have two on. Uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't really want to attack Cortez because he's just gonna heal himself up. So, we're gonna Super Mushroom Mario. He, I think if he reaches below half, he's just gonna swallow the audience's souls. Come on. There we go. Get that super guard. Oh, dang it. Alright, so. Yeah, like, honestly, I kind of just. I'm pretty sure I can actually finish the fight right. Oh, I, uh, that was an accident. Sorry, Toad. I'm pretty sure we can just finish this off right here. Oh my goodness. This fight is this fight is free. And then I literally doesn't even get a chance to swallow the audience's souls. I just saved I just saved like 50 lives. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, Cortez is not hard. I'm gonna be 100% real. It's such a disappointment. I wanna play mods of this game where the game is harder. Like, I need to get my computer working. I am done for. Yo ho ho ho! Estupido! You are foolish indeed, for I am not dead. Well, technically, I was already dead. But my spirit to endure is tied to my treasure. I also do not know a lot of Spanish. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I just pronounced that one wrong too. Like, I saw the accent on that eye. So, you cannot do anything to me. I do not live. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. Hey man, can I just have one? One gem? What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Side Cortez, don't like it. Oh. A cereal. You want this? This little rock here. Are you serious? 
Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. That is the weirdest way for this guy to just fold on the, uh, the negotiation. This guy is tied to his treasure, but is like, ah, what do I need one or, extra, one or two more? Like, isn't the entire point that you're hoarding this stuff? You're hoarding it. That probably means that you want all of it. And yet, you just bypass this one, saying you don't really need it. You could just, you could say that until you're down to half. Alright, Cortez. Look, I love Cortez more as a character, and as much as I love his fight, it's not that hard. Which is the biggest disappointment. Bueno, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, I'll wait with you. Alright. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the pirate Cortez. Well, we discovered it, but... You left the negotiations to Mario of all characters. That was mistake number one. Yeah, there is um, there's a hidden block here that you can't get if you don't get it right now. Like, that is the only time you can get it. If the moment you activate the... Um, the moment you go into uh, cr uh, after Crump's fight, it's completely unavailable. Alright, well, if I'm going to get the other boss fight done, I might as well. I gotta make... Some, uh, make some leeway here. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Hey, if we, if you've got time to be impressed by heroics, you've got time to think of a way out of here. All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we gonna bust through that solid rock? Um, dynamite? I got a walking gunpowder orb right here, so I don't see why not. It worked, just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Hmm. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Everyone's hauling out. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. Hey, man, brother. I'm sorry. I have to do this. This is kind of important. It's regretfully important. We're almost done. This is probably going to be like the last thing we do here in Kill Hokey, and then we're going to be heading back to another few episodes of uh, not much. Ah, Mario. Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Everyone came here for treasure, and you guys forgot the fact that you just hired the most passive... Not passive. The most selfless character imaginable. What were you expecting out of Mario? He is not here for your purpose, he's here for his own. He just wants the Crystal Star, bruh. Good job, you guys. You made the smart decision on hiring Wario Mario here. What was that? Ah, what is that? That is a ship, my friends. You know, the thing that we use to get here, except this one looks a lot more menacing. Pardon me, guys. Ugh, I mean... <laughs> do the laugh. Do the funny bit. So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good job getting it from me. Look at that pose. 
Boy, now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What is he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. You guys are not very smart on this one. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Lukewarm when mediocre cold shows up. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually some guy you do not know. Yeah, these guys don't know who you are, Crump. And you were not the one running this voyage. You just kind of tagged along stalking me. You're going to get the crystal star over my shredded body. And I don't think you're star yeah, I don't think you're good enough to arrange for that. He's not a pirate. He is literally manning a battleship. There are not every ship on the sea is a pirate ship, my guy. Ever heard of a cruise li cruise liner? Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. Mario said something? Flavia, what are you talking about? There's no way that'll work. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you. Kareem you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. See, this is the only time that Flavio really actually comes through as, like, a solid character. He is an actual, like, moron for most of this story. And this is probably his biggest redeeming shot in the entire chapter. Bro's just like, yeah, I know I'm an ass. But I still lead you guys, so I'm going to be an ass and I'm going to protect you guys. Uh, that being said, I really don't think I have a good amount of time to uh, fight Crump and... Wow, that's so disappointing. It took me really seven minutes to get through uh, all of this. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a, a slightly shorter episode, but I think it'll be a lot better if I get Crump's Battle and the Peach and Bowser segments done in one swift blow. Because, honestly, Crump's Fight's going to make the Bowser and Peach segments so much better. At least there's something to watch. So, that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.